In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to link an on-demand printing company like Printify to Shopify to start selling t-shirts online today. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, it's your boy Talhi. I'm a software engineer and a former startup founder based out of Boston. And on this channel, we explore various ways to capitalize on the digital economy to make some serious mistakes. This video is actually a continuation from my last video where we talked about setting up a Shopify store. Now this is all part of a series on how to start a clothing brand online. If your goal here is only to find out how to set up Shopify with Printify, then you're in the right place. So this is gonna be a pretty decent sized video and it's gonna be a juicy one. So let's get straight into it. All right, so I'm on the printify.com website and essentially you can start selling, but I don't have an account here for this demo. So I'm gonna sign up to, to get a new account. I'm gonna continue with Google. But if you already have an account, you can just simply log in with it. I am a, I'm an artist or designer. What am I? Content creator. Yes, I sell. I have an online store. This is we're just getting started, and that's it. Okay, so we're in we're in Printify right now. The next thing that we we need to do is we need to start designing our first product. So let's just go in here. We want to start off with a T-shirt. Uh, since that's what we have on our on our website, I'm gonna pick the T-shirt, and then they have the 5100 Gildan, which is the best seller. Uh, I'm gonna start designing this. I'm gonna pick my design. I will save from my device. Come on. All right. So what I can do is I can go into my assets, my designs, because I already created a bunch. Upload it here. Okay. Stretch it out, make it look really nice. And then the colors, you can select as many colors as you want. Um, see, green is meh. Red looks great. You know, charcoal, ah, uh, charcoal is meh. One select charcoal. White is definitely good looking. Uh, let's pick some more colors. Let's see, royal blue, I don't like it. Yeah, this is nice. And then, uh, heather gray, no. All right, let's keep this simple. All right, perfect. So this is how our t-shirt looks like. So what we need to do is, we actually need to link, uh, set up uh, a connection with Shopify. So what we can do is we can go here, manage my store. And then we need to connect. We want to connect it with Shopify. And then we want to go here. And then our shop URL is, let me see, let me go here and preview. This is our shop URL, we copy it. Okay. So it's gonna be establishing, it's gonna establish the connection. And then I'm gonna install this app on the Shopify platform. But again, all this thing is done. Yeah, I'm gonna be installing it on the Shopify platform, but it'll bring me back to Printify. Uh, maybe not, it let me stay on the Printify website. I like working in the Printify, so I'm gonna click on the open full site. So since it's much easier to work with. So I'll go to my store. Okay. So I have my t-shirt, which is ready to go. It's a unisex heavy. Uh, let's take a look at it. Yeah, it looks pretty simple. It looks like just like the design that we have on our website. This has nothing on the back. That's good. And then now all I need to do is I just need to publish it. So we published it, but one thing that we did not do is that we did not set the price on our profit margin. So you can click on edit listing. Um, this has all the information about the, sh the shirt. Uh, you can uh, you can call it whatever you want. By default, it, it is the, the style of the t-shirt that is in there. But what I'm gonna do is the 26 collection. Okay. 
you just always want to have some marketing information next to the shirt to make it look super useful um, and then what you need to do is that you can add some description to it um, one beauty about adding the description is it works really well with SEO so when somebody goes in and starts searching for items you know that contains in here your likelihood to your likelihood to pop up in search is pretty high and then here is really where we set the profit margin um, what I've done in my shop is instead of you know having a variation in the profit margin as you can see the profit tends to decrease um, based on the size of the image uh, based on the size of the t-shirt but I like to keep things really simple I don't think it's really nice for somebody to go in the store and then see all this variation in price so I just like to keep it very simple I edit all my profit margin in bulk actually I edit my price uh, let's see let's edit the price in bulk so let's say we want the t-shirt to be sold at $15 and then what I'm gonna do is that usually you lose the bigger the sizes are you lose so I end up I tend to not sell 4xl 5xl 3xl 2xl I'm sorry um, if I sell those I'm gonna be at a loss and then as you can see with my small I'm netting a profit of five dollars and forty six cents um, my medium and large is also the same and then with my with an extra large I'm also actually getting the same is my 2xl my 3xl that's when my profits start going down but i don't want to be greedy let let's keep a 2xl in there uh yeah we're gonna keep a 2xl but 3xl 4xl 5xl we're definitely not gonna be selling uh because those ones are going to be you know costing us to lose money so we're gonna publish it to my shopify store um and then you can select all you want the markup to go as well the description the you know the description the color the sizes and then the tags and then if you had a collection, you can actually add it to in there. And I believe that by default, Shopify creates a collection for you called the homepage, which allows the design to go in there. So I'm gonna hit publish. All right, so it is in the store. So like if I click on it, I can actually see it in the store. And you can see that all the different designs is in our store. Beautiful, beautiful if you were to ask me. Perfect. But if the problem is that when you go to your Shopify, you don't even see it anywhere. You gotta click on the catalog before you can actually see it. We wanna change that, okay? So what we want to do is we wanna go back to Shopify and then we click on home. Once that's done, what we wanna do is, actually I wanna click on product and then I wanna click on collection. So there's the homepage collection in there, which has the first one. But where we wanna really be is that we wanna go to our online store and then in our theme section, we want to hit customize and then if you go into the featured collection you want to change the collection right or you want to select a collection right now the only collection that we have is the home page and we only have one design and then select and then you know i'll say store faves store faves or maybe designer faves this is the ones that we really love save Perfect. So now let's take a look at our store and see how it looks like. See, in the past, we have all these blank images in there, uh, but we can reload now and it should have our design, which matches exactly what our model is wearing. Now we only have a t-shirt, uh, but our model is wearing a hoodie over here and she's sort of wearing, she's wearing a tank top over here. We can go back to Printify and create different designs for that particular product. So what I'm actually gonna do is we, on, on our website, we actually have three designs. We have the Lone Sailor, and then we also have the Postman one, make a statement. So I'm gonna go in there and then redesign, uh, redesign uh, things for those uh, particular ones. So I'm gonna go into my catalog and then I'll say sweatshirts. And then I'm gonna pick the best seller, the Gildan uh, one, I, a lot of people uh, like it. And then I'm gonna click on let's start designing um which one is it the drive fulfillment has a pretty good rating um yeah they have a pretty good rating when it comes to the design quality so that's the one that i'm going to work with and then i'm going to add my design i'm going to pick it from my library i already uploaded it wait what happened my device okay i'm going to go back to my library and then i'm going to select so we've already messed with this yeah, let's see the Lone Sailor and yeah, I'm gonna put the Lone Sailor. Yeah, looks 
so really dope matches exactly where we want i'm not gonna pick more colors i'm just gonna keep it really i'm gonna keep it just white save product it hasn't been published yet but i can edit the listing as well to update my price information and all these other information here uh, make sure you change the title i'm not going to change it i want to just keep it simple um, tags uh, i don't you know men's clothing sweatshirts women's clothing i think that works really well and then also too i'm actually gonna just keep it uh, i'm gonna keep the retail price the same uh different for all the different sizes but if you want you can just edit the price so that you have a consistent price for all your sizes and then finally what i'm going to do is i'm going to publish it to the store i'm going to add it to my home page collection so that it shows up on my home page and then i'm going to click publish and it's publishing we'll just give it some time to publish all right so the, it's been published and we can actually see it in the store um at the prices as we said we didn't pick any prices specifically uh for the we didn't pick a uniform price for all our sizes uh so we have prices based on uh you know based on the size okay so 2xl should be different yeah the 2xl is 28 dollars and now if i click on the home you see that it's part of my homepage collection again this matches exactly what our model uh is wearing which i think is pretty cool and then the last design that we don't have yet is the postman one i can simply just go back um right now it's just once you get a good idea of how this thing works it's just a rinse and repeat uh, so i'm gonna i'm gonna find you know sweatshirts again and then I'll pick this one and then I'll start designing. You know, you can select a bunch of different uh, providers, but I'm just going to go with the highest rating. By the way, the prices different uh, differ on Printify based on whoever you pick. So sometimes people really go for the, you know, the low price, but really bad quality. I generally like to get a really good price. Um, I really want to pay the premium for, for the t-shirts that I'm designing. And I'm going to add my design my library for some reason i can't upload so i need to do this then where is it oh, I, don't... I think this is it yeah the postman one but yeah this is it i'll reload yeah, I'll make a statement now i'm just going to change the color to match what i have on the model i think this is what i have on the model i think this is pretty close to what i have on the model save product uh, maybe later publish again i'm not changing the price but you can feel free and go change the price as you as you wish all right we can still see we can see it in store okay i did not update when i was publishing see here's a tricky one when i was publishing i did not publish it with the markup so i don't have any markups associated with it you can go in and go fix it i also didn't even select it to be added to the homepage collection. Let me go fix that. Let me edit the listing. Yeah, so I want to publish in the store. I want to select all this information and then the collection that I want is the homepage. I click on publish. Perfect, so it's now in the store. Let me refresh, exactly. So now we can see that the design is on there. Perfect, this is beautiful. So now if I go back to my homepage, I can see, wait, what happened to it? It's not on my homepage. Let's see what's wrong. Let's, let's take a look and make sure, let's take a look at our products. See our collection. Oh wait, it's there. Let's see, let's take a look at our collection and make sure that it's in there. The homepage collection. Yeah, it is there. I don't know why it's not showing up. Let me just reload again. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I just needed to reload it. And now you can see it. Now we have all the designs that we, you know, from the models. We have it here. People can simply go onto our website today and actually just add it to the cart and then stop buying. And the way it works is that once somebody places an order, it goes straight into Printify. It goes straight into Printify. You receive the order. You make payment for it. You actually need to add your card onto Printify. And then you make payment for it. And then once Shopify pays you, you can rebalance yourself out. But anyways so that's how easy it is to actually get started with on-demand printing i really hope you enjoy this series and what i'm actually going to do uh people have actually told me that they really enjoy what i'm doing with this whole clothing brand series i'm not going to be stopping here the next thing that i'm actually going to be recording which is going to be coming out uh next week is 
marketing the store that we have. So we've gone from finding the design, we've also gone from, you know, picking up, uh, setting up Shopify, and then we've gone from linking that Shopify store to our, you know, linking that Shopify store to our on-demand printing company. The next piece that we need is the marketing engine. We really need to start letting people know about our clothing brand. So what I'm gonna be doing in my next video is setting up Facebook ads or Instagram ads to really start getting some sales uh, for, for this uh, online store. If you really enjoyed this video, please leave a like to the video, subscribe to the channel, and until then, peace.